Hey guys, this is Grayson at Tonic. Here is an extensive Stoic wallet tutorial. Feel free to watch the whole thing or skip ahead to the section of your choice. Without further ado, here we go. The first step is to enter stoicwallets.com into your address bar. Now there will be a few methods to choose from when creating a Stoic wallet, but for the sake of simplicity, let's choose the first. Create a new wallet, which generates you a random seed phrase. There's a few safety precautions that pop up. For example, always make sure you are using the correct URL, stoicwallet.com. We recommend bookmarking it, which you can do by hitting Control or Command D. Stoic Wallet is awesome. Click Done, and boom, you are good. Now, this is really, really important. This is your seed phrase. Keep it secure, keep it confidential. Anyone who knows this can transfer funds out of your account. That's why it's important to not even copy it on your computer, don't even take a screenshot of it. We recommend writing it down on a piece of paper and storing it somewhere safe. So let's go ahead and do that. After you have written it down, go ahead and click continue and you will have to repeat the mnemonic seed to make sure you wrote it down correct. Then click continue. And now you will be prompted to enter a password. This will be unique and only applicable to the browser which you're using. Click continue. Woo! And you are in. So now we're about to talk about all of the features and explain how to use the wallet. But guys, this is not good. We have zero ICP, we're out in the dumps. So let's fix this. <clears throat> Hey Siri, please airdrop me 1.5 ICP. I can't open airdrop. No way, Siri actually airdropped us, what, two ICP? Plus a few NFTs? I never knew she was collecting bunnies. Plus a pumpkin? Woo woo, we'll take it. Anyway, this is the main interface. Here you can easily keep track of how much ICP plus NFTs you own. Now this is a great segue into talking about the difference between your address and your principal ID. If you want to send ICP from a centralized exchange to an external wallet like Stoic, simply copy and paste and use this address. On the other hand, your principal ID is like your unique user identifier. Technically, you can have multiple addresses under the same ID, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Most NFTs on Stoic are based on what is called the Extendable Token Standard, or the EXT standard, which is considered the gold standard for NFT platform development. For example, anytime you purchase an NFT from our official marketplace, they follow the EXT standard. However, sometimes you may have an NFT that follows a different standard, like this ICP bunny. In this case, we recommend wrapping it like this. Go to the very right, click Actions, and Wrap NFT. This will modify the NFT to follow the EXT standard, and you may now list it on the marketplace as wished. We go to Manage Listing, click 15 ICP, and Save Listing. Because our bunny is now wrapped, which follows the EXT standard, we can now list it on the official marketplace as shown here. Now, when it comes to transferring NFTs to a different wallet, that's rather simple. The first step you want to take is to add a new address. Go to the top left, click Add Account. Let's rename it to Bunnies. Copy the address. Go back to your main account, click Non-Fungible Tokens, go to Actions, Transfer, and paste the new address. <laughs> Whoa, hey, no need to cry. Your bunny was successfully sent. If you go to your new address, Bunnies, Non-Fungible Tokens, you you'll notice it found itself a new home, which is good. 
As a friendly reminder, you are not able to transfer any assets that are currently listed, as shown here. You would first need to cancel the listing on our official marketplace. Now, if you want an easy way to keep track of all of the addresses you commonly use, click the address book right here. In the bottom right, click the plus icon. And now you can save a contact as you would in your phone. So remember how earlier in the video, Siri airdropped us to ICP? Well, I only asked for 1.5. So I feel like I need to pay her back the other 0.5. This is how you send ICP. Go to whichever wallet you want to send it from. In the bottom right, click the send icon. And you can manually type in their address or if you have an address saved, which we just did, go ahead and click on one from your address book, Siri and it automatically pops up with her address. Uh, we want to send her 0.5 ICP, review transaction. Please confirm that you are about to send 0.5 to the address of Siri, click confirm transaction. And the transfer was successfully sent. Boom, this right here is our account history. Anytime you send or receive ICP, there will be a description of it. There's still a lot of cool features of Stoic Wallet which we have yet to explore. One of my favorite features is the Neurons tab. Neurons allows you to participate in governance and earn rewards. How you do this is by staking ICP temporarily. Go to the bottom right, click the plus icon, and choose a wallet which you want to stake ICP from. In this instance, let's choose main, amount of ICP to stake, one, review transaction, stake ICP. When you create a neuron, the locked balance of ICP, which in this case is one, can only be unlocked by dispersing or destroying the neuron, like this. Go to settings, click on disperse, and that ICP is getting sent back to the original wallet. However, the voting power and rewards of your neuron is based on different metrics, one of which is the dissolve delay. Go to settings, click on increase dissolve delay, and here you can configure what the length of time it takes for the ICP contained within this neuron to become available once it is set to dissolve. The longer you stake your ICP for, ranging from minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years, the more voting power and rewards this neuron will earn. In this case, we want to join the 8-year gang, so we are going to set the delay to 8 years and click Confirm Change. Our neuron is now locked, but I still have ICP in my main wallet that I want to stake. In this case, go to the settings, click on Top Up Neuron, Choose an account which you want to stake ICP from. In this case, let's stake 0.4 ICP and click on top up neuron. So how convenient is that? Within our Stoic wallet, we were successfully able to stake 1.4 ICP for 8 years. Keep in mind, if you want to withdraw this ICP, it's going to take quite some time. In this case, go to settings, click on start dissolving, and because we staked it for eight years, within eight years time, we'll get the ICP back. You have got to be seeing the versatility of Stoic. There are so many features to play around with. For example, you can actually create your own token. All you would need to do is click on the token registry and in the bottom right, click the plus icon. Here you can forge the token details. For the sake of example, let's create our own worthless token called Stoic Wallet is Great. The symbol will be SWIG, S-W-I-G. The initial supply, let's put that to 100 million. And we'll keep the decimals the same. Click Create Token. Boom! SWIG is live, ladies and gentlemen. At the very top, you can view its token ID, symbol, 
total supply and the amount of holders there are. Now, if we go to our wallet at the very top, we can also see the 100 million swig has been successfully created. As an Easter egg, anyone who leaves their address and favorite feature of Stoic in the comments down below might just be expecting some swig in return. The Applications tab is rather simple. If you click on this tab, you can easily see which websites or applications you've logged into using your Stoic wallet. If you're a developer using Stoic Wallet, don't forget you have the option to top up your canisters. Simply select the wallet, and at the bottom right, click the gas icon. Here, you can enter the canister ID and the amount of ICP you wish to send. Review and confirm the transaction. This is a fast and easy way to top up any of the canisters you need to. If you want to create or log into another Stoic Wallet account with its unique principal ID, that's easy to do. Go to the top right corner and click the profile icon. Here, you can do so accordingly. If you know you're done for the day and you're going to be away from your browser, we always recommend locking your wallet, as shown here. And that just about wraps everything up you need to know about your Stoic Wallet, one of the greatest tools to help you interact with the ICP ecosystem. Now, if you do have any specific questions, never hesitate to drop them in the comments down below. Until then, be safe and we'll catch you next time.